Hey, RC drivers and Tamiya fans, we have something brand new in the shop to check out. Well, it's kind of old actually, but it is brand new. It is the Tamiya Lunchbox, and it is from their new line of expert semi-assembled kits. And this is pretty interesting. For those of you that just want to get out with some old school RC, have some fun with it, but maybe you have your own electronics, this is the kit for you. Let's go over to Workbench, check it out. Take a look at that, the Tamiya lunchbox, all built up, almost ready to go. I think this is gonna bring back a lot of great memories for some people that have been in the hobby for a long time. And if you're new to RC, this is one of the classics that people talk about when they talk about Tamiya. The lunchbox is such a fun little truck to drive around uh, in your backyard, in your driveway, parking lots, stuff like that. This thing is a pure blast. Now, this is obviously a full built up kit almost. We, we do need to install a few things. I'm gonna get that in a minute, but uh, this is factory detailed. I mean, just looking through the window here, this thing is perfect. Now, the box here for you to me collectors, let me just show the box really quick. Uh, it's kind of a generic box because they also offer the Hornet and the Super Fighter in the same box. And all they do is they change out the end label over here. And it kind of gives you some details of what you need to get for this kit, but that's what I want to talk about. See, this is the expert semi-assembled kit. Uh, so it does have a motor, it does have a speed controller, but you need to install your RC equipment and a power source. And that's what I have over here. So I'm gonna put a Spectrum radio system in here, the new SLT3, and uh, this radio system comes with the receiver. You're also going to need a servo, and uh, I just pulled this one out of a ready to run recently, so I'm just gonna reuse it because it actually works really well. And uh, you're also going to need a 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, it will require a battery with a Tamiya plug, so I'm actually gonna swap out the plug on that. But uh, that's what you need to get this thing going. And a charger, of course, batteries for the radio system. But let me go rip this thing out of the box so we can take a closer look at it and see why it's such a fun vehicle to drive. Vanessa's lunchbox, vibrant vanny, wild designs for big wheels. I don't know where they came up with this stuff, but to me, it makes their vehicles so much fun. Check out this body. It is perfectly detailed from the factory. One of the reasons why you would want to get this XSA kit and uh, even down to the window trim. It's nicely painted uh, here on the A-pillar as well. The decals perfectly put on this hard ABS body. Got the tinted windows as well. This thing just looks so cool. Then the chrome really sets it over the top. We've got a chrome front bumper, chrome grill here, even the chrome running boards with exhaust, chrome shocks. This thing just looks so cool. Let me spin this thing around. Even a chrome bumper out back. Look at the decal work, perfect. You know, there's no air bubbles underneath the decals. I think they even painted the lights here. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, they're painted both front and rear. This thing is absolutely awesome. So this is a 12 scale truck, a little bit smaller than a 10 scale, basically fun size for Tamiya. Uh, the other fun factor on the outside of this is these big monster truck tires, big soft tires on these yellow wheels. And look at this, look at the camber on this thing. It's got like positive camber. That's what makes this thing so much fun, just kind of driving it around. It's kind of wacky looking, but it's a blast to drive. Let me spin this thing around. This is the other cool factor of this, the wheelie bar. This thing is gonna see a lot of use. We've got a metal bracket for the wheelie bar, plastic wheel here, but this thing is gonna be on the wheelie bar all the time. All right, let me pop the body off and we'll take a look at the chassis really quick. I've got the body off the chassis here. It's a simple tub style chassis, plenty of room to put electronics in, check that out. We still have to install the servo and even the speed controller as well. So here's the speed controller in this bag. I'll get to that in a minute, but uh, check this out. Really simple, the battery slides in through the bottom. There's those chrome shocks and watch this. The shock shafts pop up through the chassis. That's how simple this thing is. Really easy to work on. All right, let me spin it back around. Here is the drivetrain. It's a solid axle in the rear and it's got a single, well, uh, kind of a single pivot uh, right here. It's got kind of a swinging arm style of pivot in the back. There's the shocks to damp it. And uh, it, it's just simple. Everything is simple on this truck. Same with the front. We've got the swinging A arms up in the front. No upper tie rods or anything like that. And watch that. Look at all that 
camber swing on there. That's just part of the fun factor of this vehicle. Let me swing this thing over so you can see the bottom. There's the body clip over there where you could go slide that out, slide the Nerf bar to the side and slide the battery in. And uh, that's really about it. I mean, we've got to go ahead and put the electronics in. You can see that they already have the tie rods set to go. They're zip tied to the arm. So we'll have to cut those out in order to put our servo saver in. And I think this should be a pretty easy install to get all of the electronics in. We just have to put the servo in, uh, mount the speed controller in here, slide our battery in, uh, set up the electronics. We should be ready to go. So that should be easy. If you've never put an RC car kit together, this might be a great start. This will kind of give you a feel for what you have to do. All right, so in this package over here, as I mentioned, we have the speed controller, the TEU-105BK. There is our servo saver that we have to assemble. Put that on the servo, and here are some additional parts that we're probably gonna need, the, the hardware. And of course, there's a manual in there that's gonna walk you through putting in your servo and your electronics to get this thing rolling. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go install the electronics, then we'll head outside for some fun. So finishing up the lunchbox only took about 20 minutes. The instructions are really good. And now I'm here at the BMX track and I'm just gonna go drive this thing, have some good old school fun with it. So let's go.
this review and let's talk about the things that we know. The Tamiya Lunchbox XSA Edition is built really well from the factory. The detail on it is pretty awesome. It's very easy to finish up using your own electronics and then when you're out there having fun with it, it's an absolute blast if you know what you're dealing with. The Tamiya Lunchbox, again, it is an older car and for those of you that have been around the hobby a long time, you know what to me is about. It's just about having fun and this truck definitely delivers. It did in the past, it does now, and I think it's going to in the future. I don't think this is the last we've seen it. They come out with all these different special editions of this kit and uh, it's always fun. Now, you know, is it the best jumper and, and the fastest truck out there? No, it's not. It's just a fun drive. I, that's just the best way to explain it. To me, it makes fun vehicles, and that's why I took everything out here. I mean, just look at all the different things that they have to offer. I mean, where else are you going to find a radio control tractor or a radio control dump truck, a radio control trike, and, and a grasshopper that just bounces around when you're driving it? These are all fun vehicles, and that's what uh, to me is all about giving you a fun experience in the RC hobby. And, and this kit does that. You know, is there anything wrong with it? No, not really. You know, the usual, we wish it had bearings in the transmission and then the wheels, but uh, as is, this thing will be a lot of fun. Just quick enough to, to rip up some dirt out there. The, the, just the sound from the transmission uh, and the, the little squeaks here and there. I mean, it just brings back so many memories and you know creates so many new memories of just having fun with an RC model. And if you want to get a little bit more out of it, I think a little bit more speed would do well for this thing. Uh, actually, what I did is I took a LiPo shorty pack and a LiPo alarm, put it in the top back tray of this model. And that's what we used to do in the past. They used to have a, uh, a nickel metal hydride hump pack that you could put back there. It puts all the weight in the rear and you can carry more wheelies. But what I did is when I put that lipo back there, I used a, a Velcro strap, put it in, and I was able to get a lot more wheelie action out of it. And that really just bumped up the fun factor for me some more. But overall, the Tamiya Lunchbox is just a great kit. Like I said, if you want to experience old school RC, this is really a great truck to do it with. And the XSA version, uh, the, the quality of the build is just awesome. So you can get out there much quicker and have a lot more fun. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the Tamiya XSA kits. Would you rather just Tamiya offer their build up kits or do you like this version where you get to install your radio system and your battery? And while you're down in the comment section below, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like. If you need any links, it'll be in the video description. We'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos.